everybody, it's Brian. I'm Tim. This is the Brian and Tim show. We never know what you're gonna see on this show. We leave that up to the producers. We just we just show up and our, our pretty faces. Um, but we had a lot of fun making it, of course, and we think that you're really gonna dig it. So yeah, watch out. You never know what'll happen. Enjoy. Oh yeah, killing it. Heck yeah, man. Brian, oh, Tim, what's up, buddy? Not a whole lot. Ooh. I mean, what's good, man? I'm trying to warm up on my hoops, dude. Uh, Not the 180 rule, evidently, though, but we got ourselves wait. Jones. You know I'm a Jones fan, but this ain't Jones in the bottle. No, no, no. This is this is uh, Jones in a in a in a solid form. Yeah, it's like in a so, canister, man. Oh, this is made with pure sugar cane. So okay. this uh, get ready to be hyper, and I wouldn't give this to your kid tonight. Uh, this one's limes with orange. All right, this is. I'm not sure. Spike punch. Okay, okay spike yeah. punch. And this is electric something or other. It's covered up by the price label. Oh man, I'm excited about this, man. Now, I'm electric big... lemonade. Oh, I've been on a big lemonade kick. It's summer. It's very hot here in the Midwest. I mean, we're talking like the high, like 102, 103. We, we've been so, setting uh, records lately. I've been doing that lemonade just like Olivia. Um, Olivia? Let's do this. Yeah, man. Check it out, Nick Jr. Oh, is that the Piglet Logan yeah, thing? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. My son loves that show. Yeah. I'm going to start things off with probably the most unique flavor, at least on paper, limes with orange. Not a lot of scent. They're, you know, they're not, you know, about the size of a Smarty. Now, they're supposed to be sours, and they're supposed to be carbonated, so you're supposed to fill the fizz of, like, you know, a carbonated beverage. Hmm. Now, uh, visually, these remind me of Altoids, uh, so I wonder if maybe you're not supposed to chew them. Maybe you're, uh, it's kind of a minty sort of thing, fresh breath, I don't know. It's got an intense amount of lemon. Whoa, that's, that's, that's quite each, overpowering. Each piece delivers mouth-watering, tangy flavor intensified by zillions of tongue-tingling nanobubbles. I always knew zillion was a number. Also, drop them in your Jones beverage as flavor boosters, too. Um, before I speak on what I've tasted, I'm going to go ahead and swap you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's try one of these lemon ones. Now, they kind of have these weird... Uh, kind of splotchy parts. I always call them, you know, it reminds me of Arn Anderson. <laughs> you, you're familiar with the man, mm -hmm. uh, like a liver spots. Um, they kind of have that speckled quality to them, which means they're old, which I was going to get, I was going to get around to that in a, in a minute, but uh, it kind of beat me to the punch because that first piece of candy I had, it was a bit stale. Mm -hmm. I got to say, it kind of fell apart in my mouth like chalk. Not what I'm looking for. All right. Okay. This is the lemonade. I found that to be quite intense. Yeah, okay. this one's the carbonated thing is definitely the gimmicks there. Of course, this is not much less the the, the limes with orange. Hmm. See, I felt the limes with, with orange again. Going back to my original uh, analogy, very uh, kind of chalky. This <laughs> though, uh, really fizzy. Let's try to spike punch. All right, ready? Spike punch. Last time I had spike punch was I think uh, hi high school prom. Somebody had spiked the punch bowl. I woke up the next day and it was not like the movie The Hangover. It was not a, a feel good comedy. I got to tell you, um, the law dude is still pending. Um, we'll try to get that worked out. I'm a very boring person. Didn't have my first drink till the week after I turned 21. I tell that to people, and they're like, you are a failure as a college student. <laughs> okay. Now, these ones are red. Mm -hmm. Here, I have one. Well, they're they're kind of pink and white speckled again. Um, I've never used the word speckled, but maybe once uh, a year or two, and I've, I've dropped it twice in the last two minutes. There were four speckled frogs. Toot, toot. Whatever. Well, he's taking a speckled shower. Better than a golden <laughs> shower, I suppose. Uh, hey, man. It's too hot for that. It is. You know what this tastes like? I, I can fill them in my hand. I know exactly what this tastes like. And it's something that the viewers at home might be familiar with, so it might help them. Mm -hmm. This tastes like a Flintstones vitamin. Okay. Do you remember that? Did you ever eat those as a kid? I did not. Man, I uh, know. I'm a failure. <laughs> Well, a, a, lot failure of, lot of, a lot of people might be able to, 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 to resonate with that reference. And I got to tell you... Even though I haven't had one of those since childhood, very strongly reminds me of like a Flintstones water. Right. Well, you can't say false advertisement. Well, we might be able to because the sticker was covering up a significant portion of the label. But look at this this girl's face here. I'm not sure if she's enjoying it or not. I mean, she's, uh, she's, this, <laughs> she's got her cheeks sucked in there. <laughs> well, you know, know that's this, arguable. Yeah. I mean, I've seen that face on a uh, uh, you know a lady or two. Um, uh, this little boy, though, he's kind of doing like an incredible hawk pose, and mm -hmm. I, I, I break that one out sometimes at the dinner table. And yeah, this one has just had, got a generic kid with his mouth ah! open. Yeah. I guess he's supposed to be yelping in. Oh, we got my a gosh, PS1? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, dude. Um, okay. 
The sour part, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the carbonated part, only on the lemonade did I really taste that carbonated, that fizziness. Mm -hmm. Now, do we have any Jones around? We could uh, try the thing where we drop it in. Uh, we do not. Uh, um, I'm out here on the b-ball court. You know, I, I'm, I'm doing the aqua, but uh, you know, um, uh -oh. I gotta say, Tim, I love Jones. You know, Jones, uh, Jones. Uh, you know, but. Was this candy? Was this a good idea? Did they did they leave? Did they you know broaden their horizons a little too much? Uh, yeah, I would leave this behind. I mean, a dollar I would as a novelty. Down. Yeah, pick a pick one up. Maybe yeah. not even open. Just put it up on your dresser or something. You know, a little knickknack. Um, but um, popping these in, in class, you know, study hall. Nah, not gonna happen, man. <laughs> yeah, Tim Show. You're watching Review the World on YouTube. Hey everybody, it's Brian. I'm Tim. We're here at Whitten Hills Park on location, getting ready to try, what else, an ancient soda. This is Jones Pear Tree Soda. Now this is from one of their festive holiday lines. We can't call it Christmas because the world's went PC, so we'll just say it's a, it's a holiday beverage. Now, uh, we don't know how old this is. Yeah. There's I... no expiration date. We, we know that it's one to two calendar years old. Mm -hmm. It's been in our producer's fridge. Um, a lot of things go there to die, mm -hmm. and uh, he brought it today to the shoot, and uh, we're standing by a tree. It's only appropriate that we drink a pear tree. So Indeed. Now, I don't know if any of you have uh, liked us on Facebook. Like us on Facebook! Yeah, Brian and Tim Show. Yeah, yeah. It's new. It's, it's, it's hot. It's on Facebook. But anyhow, uh, I've been trying to start a war for a while with uh, the cinema snob Brad Jones uh, with his Brad Tries videos, but there's a photo, actually. I ran into him at uh, recent... Brian, you all right? Oh yeah, brother. Oh, keep going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, ran into him at the oh, Fright Night Film God. Festival in Louisville, Kentucky. So, uh, I guess the whatever hatchet we had has been buried. But I don't think he's reviewed this one yet on his Brad Tries show. He's done a lot of the other Jones sodas that we've done. Or, actually, he's done more that you guys did before I came along. So. Yeah, yeah. I've been doing the Jones stuff, man, mm -hmm. uh, going back five, six years now. Uh, that actually made my eyes kind of water a bit. Very bubbly. Not the worst thing I placed in my mouth today. <laughs> I like—I see you know dripping down your chin. It's a very mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. photogenic moment there. It could be uh, marketing. Yeah. You know? uh, that that'll be the new banner for the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, they like the you know you can update your uh, Jones cans. You can take photos and send them in. I would love to you know see Tim rocking that that hat on a Jones soda. Tim, what did you think about this? Uh, I mean, for, uh, before we hit the, the 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 flavor and all that, I gotta mm -hmm. say I love the color. Mm -hmm. I've always been attracted to like the, I, I I really like lime green slushies. Uh, uh, you know, the color of this is just like this kind of uh, beautiful to me. I don't know. The color was actually scaring me a little bit because I swear, uh, you know, the closer to the bottom it is, the more intense the color is. That was off the mark. Yeah, the higher up it was a little thinner, so maybe it just need to be oh, shaken yeah. or something like that. Uh, I, I got I got so much soda in my beer. I, I feel like I'm going to be kind of pear scented uh, for the right. rest of the evening. But you can do like the dude from uh, Big Lebowski. Just store some up here. And yeah, there you later. Go. One thing that I noticed, uh, especially on that second hit that came to me that I didn't uh, pick up on the first try, mm -hmm. a very uh, almost a ginger ale quality. Okay. It's really bubbly. It's really fuzzy. Mm -hmm. And um, but you know I like pears. I, mm -hmm. I know they're not the most popular fruit. The, the, you know the most you know well traded at the lunchroom, so mm -hmm. to speak. You know oranges, apples, etc. But I've always liked Paris for whatever reason, maybe because it is the odd one out. But, um, you know, I would have loved to tr taste this when it was fresh, but surprisingly, it doesn't really seem too flat to me. I mean, it, it's yeah. got some, it packs a little bit of a, of a, you know, it's very bubbly. I don't know if it's just that I haven't been drinking a lot of soda lately, but uh, I'm definitely, I'm already feeling a little bit of gas coming through here. And yeah, uh, it's very, it's a lot of carbonation, as he already touched upon. I like it. If you are going to try it, and some of you might be encouraged to after seeing this video, mm -hmm. um, I don't know where you're going to find it. I'm sure you know you can do a search online. There's some CD people out there that, you know... Evidently, this was found at Big Lots. Um, I, I will tell you, though, get it quickly if you are going to try it. Uh, this was shot in the summer of 2012, so I don't know when you're watching it. Um, but, you know, sooner the better if you're going to try the pear tree soda. Now, Jones is hit or miss. Some years they do this type of stuff, some years not so much. And, mm -hmm. and you never know what flavors are going to come. So this could be the last time that they produce this. So if you are out there and you see this, you know, try it. I, I like this. I'm going to go ahead and, 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 you know, give it my thumbs up and my seal of approval. I'm actually going to put it in the low A range. I'm giving it an A minus. Wow. Um, if this was fresh, I would do a 12 pack of those if I could. I mean, I, I like that. And I'm not a big soda drinker. Hmm. 
I think I'm going to have to be a Where little... Where is it falling flat for you? Because I know I'm picking up, you know, you're, you're not quite on the ship with me as a pear tree guy. No, no, no. It's, uh, I don't know. It, I don't drink a, a lot of ginger ale for one thing. Uh, I, maybe it's just uh, a taste thing there. Um... Uh, it's, to me, the flavor is just not that intense. It's very subdued, and I guess maybe that's it. Consistency is not quite... I'm going to go yeah. with... I'm going to have to say C-plus on this. Wow. Like, um, You know, at 70 cents a bottle, I, I, I would probably buy it and not feel terribly ripped off, but I certainly, after today, don't see myself seeking this out again. Yeah. So. So fans, I mean, two different sides of the spectrum, but hey, what do we know? Decide for yourself, so if this is something that you think you might be into, look it up. And also, if you're a Jones connoisseur, I know we've kind of helped, you know, that push. We've led the way mm -hmm. with Jones stuff. Uh, check it out. Well, hope you enjoyed the show. We had fun making it. See you next time.